This video will be just a quick overview of the GRASP method for those of you that don't know or need a review. So this method is for problem solving and has five steps. The givens, required, analysis, the solve, and paraphrase. So basically you're listing the things you do know, what you need to know, then choosing a way to solve it, plugging in your numbers and finding the answer, and doing the paraphrase. So in my opinion, this segment here is the most important. So that analysis, choosing your method and rearranging your equation, this is really where the physics lies. You have to know what you're doing in order to get to an answer. But of course, it's also important to, at the end, actually answer the question. So here we've got a quick example. Um, it's uh, just a simple car tra traveling 350 kilometers in 200 minutes, and we want to know the average speed of the car on this trip in kilometers per hour. So the first thing I need to do is write my givens and my required. Now I generally put these steps together. You can do them separately or together. That's totally up to you as long as all of them are listed. So my givens here are the distance traveled, and I use D to represent distance, and that distance is 350 kilometers. And the required is, or sorry, the other given here is time. So time is 200 minutes. But we know we want to do this in kilometers per hour, so minutes doesn't really help us a whole lot, so we do need to convert this. We know there's 60 minutes in one hour. So this is my conversion factor. And it gives me a calculation here of 200 divided by 60. And that gives me 3.3 repeating when I put that into my calculator. And let's just assume our device is able to measure two digits here. So we're going to have two significant figures. Um, maybe the ones wasn't quite accurate. So we're going to go with 3.3. .3, and we know that the minutes divided out. So this is now in hours. And then we're going to start looking at our analysis. And again, I often group my analysis and solve. And I'll make sure you can see kind of where they each are. Oh, sorry, I forgot to put our required in. So our required here is the average speed. So speed is represented by a V. And I'm even going to put the subscript average so we know for sure that's what we are getting. And that's our question mark. That's our unknown. So now we need an equation. Now most of you will fairly intuitively know that speed is calculated as distance over time. So that is the equation or method we're going to use to solve this problem. So average speed is distance divided by time. And since that is already in a form where I don't need to rearrange, that is the analysis section done, right? So this is the end of the analysis section. So above the line is analysis and below is the solve part. Okay, so our solve is just simply plugging in the numbers. So the average speed is 350 kilometers divided by 3.3 .3 hours, which gives us 106.06, and that continues on. It's a repeating one as well, kilometers per hour. And you notice I've put the units right in there when I plugged in the numbers, and that allows me to follow my units through, make sure things are working out as I'm going, and that I end up with the unit that I wanted. If I don't include the units and I plug numbers in and I've made a mistake somewhere along the road, I might not notice. But with the units, you can see things that divide out that need to in a more complicated question. And in this case, it directly gives us the kilometers per hour that we're looking for. And I'm just going to round this to make it match my significant digits here. So I'm going to get 110 kilometers per hour is the average speed. So now I just have to do my paraphrase. So therefore, the 
average speed of the car is 110 kilometers per hour. And that's the GRASP method.